really good. They have self-sufficient bot lane duo, and their only really place they have to put pressure is topside. And it really does well against almost every matchup now, except for maybe Trundle. And if they do pick Trundle, then at least Nidalee can hover around mid and top to provide support for both. And Braum is so good at being able to enable a 1v2. If they want to just like ignore the early phase, Braum can do that as well. So to get Rise to 6, and they can give him a lot of support doing the 1v2, and he can get a lot of levels very easily. Yeah, I think it's interesting that uh, C9 banned the Lucian, because I think it would have made a lot of sense in TSM's comp. They're relatively short range with, uh, you know, the Aureli and Ryze trying to go in and CC someone in the front and then just burning that person down. And Caitlyn isn't quite as good for that. She's a little bit more self-sufficient if uh, C9's come on to them. But I think TSM's actually the team that's going to need to engage a lot of these fights. I feel like they get a little outranged and outpoked. So, I mean, they do have the Nidalee to heal, but I think Sorok and Nidalee versus those two, uh, I would take the Sorok. I yeah. feel like Sorokka heals more. Yeah, I think yeah. it's an accurate assessment, generally yeah. speaking.